we have a new addition to the household, Chaya the Silver Bengal. Very few people know that Austria actually has its own official Trappist brewery. Clock and from Engelzell Abbey in Austria, we have a bottle of their Trappist Zwickel beer coming in at 4.7% ABV. Now, a <coughs> little bit of history about this. This is um, Austria's official Trappist brewery, hence, you've got the, the Trappist sign there on the bottle. Um, they've only been around since 2012, so they've been around 10 years, basically, um, that they've um, been a Trappist brewery. Um, they actually um, were the eighth brewery to join the ranks of becoming a Trappist brewery. Okay, and, um, you know, they're growing from strength to strength. Now, this is the, the, the Zwickel beer. Well, I don't think think any other Trappist breweries make a Zwickel beer, um, which is quite interesting. Um, so, without further ado, we'll we'll crack it open. Yeah, it's uh, you, know, you know I've got some sort of some notes up here, like and uh, yeah, since 2012, and I say that you know this brewery does a Zwickel beer and a Weizen, believe it or not, but that'll be coming later. Um, so. Yeah, it's sort of interesting. I got this from House of Trembling Madness. Um, that's where I got these from. So it's quite, it's quite um, interesting that you know that this this Zwickel beer because I do like a Zwickel beer. Um, this is the nearest sort of glass I can get the sort of drinking it from. If you look on the actual um, their website page, they've got sort of a long tall glass that they drink this uh, this from. So without further ado, let's crack it open and give it a try. Be looking forward to this. Oh, it's a lively one. Look at that, it's roaring with carbonation. <laughs> oh my word! <laughs> it is roaring. It is golden amber colour okay we've got a beautiful um well what do you call that ten finger white type foam head <laughs> um it's, look at the carbonation roaring away it is really really heavily carbonated that's why i can't get the old bottle in um let's get the aromas uh, oh my God, it's it's really really fruity. It's really really fruity, really really hoppy. Really do smell the hops. Oh, it does smell, it smells absolutely fantastic. So let's dive in, give it a try. Cheers. If I can get through the foam. First thing I've noticed is quite a dry beer. really really sparkling on the tongue it's very dry it's very hoppy grassy it 
it's like it's like drinking champagne or with the, with the amount of bubbles in it it's it's this is this is a really really gassy beer this is this is <laughs> this is a lot more carbonated than a lot of pilsners i've had there's a hot bitterness there as well It is such a lively little number. That is unreal. A beer that's so lively. I like it. Um, I don't think I could drink too many of them though. You know, this is so gassy. This is really going to bloat you out. And quickly. But it's a great taste. It's, it's sort of it's fruity it's dry it's hop bitterness there oh it is on a hot day i reckon this is absolutely fantastic Absolutely fantastic on a hot day. <laughs> Obviously as well, this is an unfiltered beer. You know, there is a slight cloudiness to it. Um, it's unpasteurized, unfiltered beer. It's it's a great Zwickel beer. You know, I, I must admit I do like Zwickel beers. Um, if I'm ever in Germany and I see a Zwickel beer on a on a menu somewhere on tap somewhere, I always have a Zwickel beer. It's a style I quite like. There is a bit of sort of as you sort of more you drink it, there's a bit a bit, a bit of sort of lemon there as well, lemon pepper. You could actually fool someone into thinking that this is a Pilsner and not a Zwickel beer and that's because of this carbonation. The way it sits in the glass, look, that foam's not going to disappear. All in all, a great beer. 4.7% easy drinking. Um, I'll probably say four or five bottles would be my max on this to drink just because it's so so carbonated but this is probably a great beer to have sitting like a lunchtime beer sitting in a beer garden lunchtime for a short pit stop yeah I reckon this goes down a treat so look go to House of Trembling Madness get yourself a bottle it weren't that expensive just a couple of quid I think it was something like that a couple of couple of free quid um so it weren't like overly expensive you know this is austrian's trappist brewery and um, they've got quite got about five bottles of beer in the range i've got the lot so um you'll be seeing a few of these over the next coming weeks <laughs> so look get yourself a bottle try it see what you think leave me a comment below give me a big thumbs up if you like the review hit that little bell get notified every time i bring out a new one and of course subscribe to the channel and like i always say Beer is the answer, but I cannot remember the question. Thank you for watching. Good night. Wow. TT says, never play with matches, fireworks, and always drink responsibly. Wow.